Hello and welcome to PE Buddy. Mr. D here. Welcome to Save Sports Supplements Part 2. Today we're having a look at bicarb soda. Let's get into it. So before watching this video, I'd suggest going through the previous video which gives you an overview of the supplements, uh, which ones are effective and how to tell the difference. Alright, so bicarbonate soda is a common household ingredient. If you look in your pantry, you'll often find this hiding away somewhere. Not only is it good for baking cakes, it also improves performance. It helps reduce acidity in muscles, it is well researched and generally approved and accepted. Let's dive a bit deeper. Bicarbonate soda improves high intensity exercise, improves strength and has moderate benefits for team sports. Here's a couple of statistics to get us started. Bicarbonate has been around for over 80 years and studied thoroughly during that time. Many studies have found that it improves performance. More specifically, one study found it can improve interval training by 1.7 to 8% depending on the person. Another study found strength athletes were able to do six more squats per set than those without bicarb soda. And another study focusing on cyclists saw a huge 133% improvement over eight weeks. Let's find out how they did it. So to understand how bicarb helps us, it's really important to understand acidity and alkaline. So if you've ever studied chemistry or science, you may have come across this scale before. Essentially, when we are talking about performance, we're looking at the pH scale or the pH levels in the muscle itself. So at rest, it's approximately around seven, a little bit over. So that's what we call neutral. It's neither acidic nor alkaline. As soon as we start exercising, some specific studies find that the muscles become more acidic, meaning they go this way, left, down this pH scale to around 6.2, starting from 7 going to 6.2. If you've ever felt that burning sensation in your legs during high intensity exercise, specifically exercise such as the 400 meter sprint, that is lactic acid and that's related to this concept. This is where bicarb soda comes in. With bicarb, it allows us to run or ride or swim for longer and with more intensity before the fatiguing effects of acidity slow us down. So instead of dropping from approximately 7 to about 6.2, we might drop down half that way. Here's another way of looking at it. If we look at the green and red lines here, you can see this axis is time and this axis is lactic acid or acidity levels in the muscles. The longer and harder we go, the quicker this spikes up, so the quicker the acidity levels rise. If we look at the blue line, this represents an athlete with bicarb soda in their system. You can see that it takes longer for their muscles to become more acidic. This means a higher intensity and a better performance. Represented visually, it might look something like this. Athlete A with bicarb is able to go longer, harder and stronger, while the other athletes are not able to keep up with the same intensity. So how do you consume bicarb soda? It mostly comes in powder form, but you can also get it in capsule or tablet form. This is what it may look like. Consume approximately 200 to 300 milligrams per kilo of body weight. And you should take this 60 to 90 minutes before exercise. A couple of considerations before you go out and try this. Please note, bicarb soda does not taste good. Start small and work your way up to the recommended dosage. Mix with drinks to consume. I'd suggest something that has flavor like a Gatorade or Cordial. Practice at training before games. It can upset some people's stomachs. So good luck, make sure you do your own research and comment with any questions that you have. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and comment with any feedback or other things that you'd like to learn about and subscribe for more. Thanks everyone, bye.